Hi, today I'm going to show a method that I use uh, most often when coloring my stamps. And uh, it doesn't really have an official name, but you basically use pencil crayons and some type of oil base. My preference is uh, mineral oil spirits to break down the wax and the pencil crayons to color your stamping images. And this is great to color stamping images for uh, for scrapbooks, but I use it mostly for cards. So I'm going to show you how e easy it is. You can get a complete list of supplies at my blog, quillingpatch.com, Q-U-I-L-L-I-N-G, for those that don't quill. Um, and I have a list of supplies and some more detailed instructions. So basically, you need um, a pencil crayon. You need a high quality pencil crayon. I prefer Prismacolor is this kind. Um, I also have some of these woodless color pencils that I bought. I can't remember where I got them. They're a German brand um, that are pretty good. Do not buy dollar store or cheap ones or the wrench in. Um, they're fairly expensive and the, um, the size I have here is the 48 colors. Now I probably, if I were going to do it again, because these were pretty expensive, I think it was about $60 would just buy a 12 pack and then it was just as expensive for me at an art store to buy the pencils that I wanted as I needed them. And you can also use my Michael's coupon for 40 or 50 percent off to get uh, cheaper pencil crayons, but, but do invest in them. You'll use them over and over again. So what I'm going to do is take a piece of drawing paper. I'll show you a simplified method. This is a, uh, a drawing, a charcoal paper that's uh, got a bit of a grit to it. You could also use a fine weight of matte watercolor paper and I use Memories, that's a dye pigment, sorry, not a dye pigment, it's a dye ink, ink. and I'm going to use black for this image. I'm going to use a simple grape image to give you an idea. I'm going to stamp it. Try not to jiggle the camera too much. So I have my stamped image. Oops. Okay. Put that over. Stamp it. Not that great, but we'll try it. All right, so I've got my stamped image, and now I'm going to use uh, apply color, and I'm going to use my pencils, and I'll pick out uh, some a purple one, and some greens, maybe a little bit of plum. And you'll see how effective. And actually, this is a fairly quick process to do, and I find this works better on stamps that have, that are larger. So I'm going to take my sort of blueberry blue color, and what you would do is lay down color at the densest spots first, because when you take your your oil your your stump your paper stump like this and draw the color out, almost like you would lay down color for watercolor pencils, and then get your watercolor brush and pull the color. You're going to do the same thing with a a paper stump. So we're going to put it lay down our color here. Here, these nice berries. Try to work quickly. I'm gonna. I'm not going for accuracy here. Okay. And this is actually a lot of fun if you're into color like I am, and you can really get uh, some interesting combinations when you start blending. You see how you do not color the whole image. All right, that's what's going to give you your nice highlighting effects. Now, what I have here is I have a little uh, tray, a little Tupperware container, but I keep a sponge. Um, you can also use folded up Scott towel. And I pour some mineral oil spirits. That's, uh, this is mineral, odorless, oh, sorry, oh, should it should have qualified odorless min mineral spirits. Um, the strong, the other kind is a pretty strong. Now, this is, uh, toxic to breathe in, so make sure you're in a room that's got some nice ventilation. Okay, so these are paper stumps. You get them in a pack. I get them at a craft store in my, in my city. Um, I think a pack of 12 is like $3. I know Amazon has them and Dick Blix has them as well. They're pretty cheap. Some people like the ones that are made in Taiwan. I don't notice the difference. And um, these are great. I always use two, one for dark color and one for light color. And that way, if I'm doing a dark purple like I'm going to do here, and I need to quickly, you know, do some light yellow or something, I'm not going to have color bleeding all over the place. And then when you want, when you sort of get a, a rough, uh, gross tip, you can use this sandpaper. I buy one of these things. It's two bucks. Just sand it down. Okay, so here we go. This is the fun part. 
So I'm going to take my sponge with the, with the gamma sol or the odorless mineral spirits. I'm going to saturate my paper stump that I have here. And you're going to see how the color is just going to really pop. Draw it out. And you almost use this like a paintbrush. I don't know if you can catch that. But it gives a nice, smooth, beautiful color. And I'll post these uh, images up on my website with my uh, husband's very expensive digital camera that he had to have. It does give nice images, but with a lot of money. So you can get a really good look at the color that's just popping out of there. And uh, I've got an, an, an different stamp I'll use in a moment. It's a bigger, more complicated stamp, but this is a, a fast and easy way to color an image that you're going to put on a card. And can you see the nice, I'm leaving some parts white, okay, where the, the wax is uh, not broken down as much or it's faded out. Okay, so we've got that done. I'm just going to smooth some edges out here. And then I'll do the leaves. The bigger images work better to show you some of the detailing that you can get. The highlight effects. That's what the true benefit is, is where you can get some lovely shading. Okay. So that's that colored and done. And I will put that, I'll put this up closer if I can. And, oops, sorry. And I'll put that up on uh, my website, quillingpatch.com, for you to get a good look at it. Now here... I'll do a bigger stamp where you can get a real idea of it. This is a beautiful stamp. I think it's by Beeline. I, this is one of my favorite stamps. I use it all the time. It's great for um, Mother's Day cards. I did a sympathy card with it recently. I'm just going to stamp this up. I'm going to hope I get a nice image. I'm kind of rushing through it. Okay. Oops. You know when you stamp, you stamp kind of the reverse of what you think. All right, so we've got that done. Just going to stamp it really quickly. Over the camera range for a second. All right. We'll hope for a nice crisp image. Not bad. There. This is a gorgeous stamp. It's got a real Flemish look to it. So there's a bit of a close-up for you. Okay. So I'll, I won't do the whole stamp for the for this, but I'm going to just show you how just how gorgeous these colors can can be. Put some nice pinks in there for a peony. A bit darker fuchsia. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do something. <laughs> Normally what I'll do when I begin is I will chalk the background to get rid of the harshness. Um, I'm not going to do it. I'll do that in another, another uh, video, but I'll take some chalk, and this is a white paper, so just to get rid of the harshness, I'll take a chalk, usually an off a cream or a mustard or a soft, soft color, just to get rid of that that uh, stark white. And I forgot to do it, and I'm, I'm not going to start all over again. My kids are being pretty quiet. I don't want to tempt fate, so we'll get a nice tulip in there. Try some orange somewhere so you can get an idea. You see how quickly I'm working? Normally I might take a bit more time to enjoy what I'm doing. All right, so I've got my my paper stump. Saturate it. If you're finding the color isn't blending all that well. Could be that you don't have enough uh, oil spirits. Now some people will use. I'm just going to draw this color out. I've heard people use baby oil. I don't like baby oil that beautiful color. Um, it just blends right in. I don't like the baby oil. I've also tried linseed oil. I don't like that. I, I, you can't go wrong with the oil mineral spirits. The oil mineral spirits. Okay. Look at the way that just leaps off the page with that lovely highlighting. I'm going to do some of the veins there. I'm not sure how much of this is showing up for you. You get, I hope you're getting an idea of the technique, and you can see how easy it is. And I'm telling you, you will be, look at that. Look at that color. Um, you'd be addicted to it. 
You get the vibrancy of markers with the control of uh, watercolor. There you go. And now I'm going to do some of the orange here. This is a good craft for kids, older kids, because you don't want them breathing in those fumes. There you go. And that's that done. And then I'll take, there you go. That shows you how that's done. Oops. And again, you can look on my website uh, to see these, these projects in completion and for finer detailed photos at quillingpatch.com, uh, as well as a complete supply list and step-by-step -step instructions. Uh, thanks for watching.